Can you guys see me? Hi guys. I thought that I would spend today talking about how to deal with mental health around the holidays because I know me personally, I really struggle a lot with my mental health around the holidays simply because, you know, the weather starts getting different. It starts getting colder here in Maryland and it gets dark so fucking early. Like it's literally 358 right now and the sun is already setting and that to me is just so annoying and I like don't know about you guys but I know I struggle a lot with that and I love the nighttime but like I don't like it being night at 4 4 30 in the afternoon like that's crazy to me and I just thought that I would spend some time today talking about that because if you have been around my channel for a while now you guys know that mental health is a very important topic to me I think that it is something that needs to be talked about so much more on the internet and with the world especially that we live in today with all kinds of craziness and scary and anxiety and depression and the unknown is just it, it, it it's something that is scary and so I think that mental health deserves to be talked about more on the internet especially around the holiday season because family like being around family for a lot of people is really good but for other people is not so good sometimes being around family so much can make people act a certain way and it gets kind of crazy and it brings out a different side of people and that can really deteriorate you it can cause anxiety it can cause stress you know i don't know about you guys but like i know my family members get really stressed out during the holidays which then leads other people to being stressed and then leads me to being stressed and then it makes my anxiety get really bad and then I get depressed about the fact that I'm stressed. So it's like a whole domino effect, right? So that happens a lot. Also, a lot of people don't have family and a lot of people don't have like things to be able to celebrate the holidays. So the holidays can just become like a very depressing time for a lot of people so I just kind of wanted to like talk a little bit about that and some strategies that I have to deal with my anxiety and my depression around the holidays that hopefully then will be able to help you guys out a little bit too. Let's talk about first dealing with family okay. For me we always go and visit family during holidays which for a lot of people can also be stressful. For me, like I am really close with a lot of my family, but I am also somebody that needs my own space and my own alone time. And when I start to get really overwhelmed or really anxious, I need to be separated from everybody else and I just need my own space. So my tip number one for dealing with the holiday depression is to go and make sure no matter where you're at, you have a designated space specifically for yourself that you can go to and go and like be alone in your own space if that's what you need however if you need to like be around people be around as many people as you need i need my own space so i'll pick like a room in the house that i feel most comfortable in um for example at my grandparents house i love to go and sit up in their hallway in the window and just like watch the cars and all the people and stuff it's really nice for me but just like have your own designated area that you can go off and go to that you feel comfortable with and that makes you feel safe. Um, I like to have a bunch of like different things to do while I'm in that little space. So I have a coloring book, but I also like to color out, cut. I also like to print out fun like holiday coloring pages that I like to do. I also use that time to journal. Um, I'll edit. I'll listen to music. It's really just whatever you like to do. My new thing is painting, so I like to do that as well. So I'll just make sure that no matter where I'm going, if I'm able to, I'm able to pack something that is going to help ease my mind away from whatever is going on, all the chaos, all the anxiety um, that I can do in my own separate space for as long as I need to. Um, my So I guess that was tip number two, but my third tip is to set boundaries with your family. And this is something that can be really hard to do and it's actually something that I work with my therapist literally all the time on because I am not always the best person at setting boundaries but I really am working on it. And just being like, hey, like 
you know, if I need my time away, I need you to respect that and I need to just get away for a little bit. Or hey, I just need to like go watch a video. I need to go listen to some music. I'll be around you guys, but I need that space and my own thing and for everyone to stop bothering. Tip number four. I'm going to talk a little bit about food. So if that is something that is triggering for you, please go ahead and skip to the next part of this video or just turn the video off. For me, I am someone that is especially around the holidays, it triggers my eating disorder a lot and I get really anxious and really depressed about it. Um, so one thing that I've done is to, number one, make sure that like I set boundaries with my family. Like I'm Italian, so my grandparents love to just like kind of like shove food and be like, here, let me feed you, I love you. Hey, here's some food, I love you. Like you need to eat, blah, blah, blah set boundaries with them and just be like listen like i'm gonna eat what i'm comfortable eating and that's okay another thing too is like to make sure that you have some balance like if you aren't comfortable eating something that's okay fill your plate up with things that you feel comfortable with eating honestly during thanksgiving guys i literally ate turkey mashed potatoes and corn and that was it that was all that was on my plate and it was enough that I wanted and then I even went back for seconds which is a huge deal for me but it's all about having foods that make you feel comfortable in a quantity that you feel comfortable eating. Number five guys literally just go for a drive like just just get it get in your car if you're able to and go drive if you can't hit up somebody that can your mom your aunt your cousin your grandma literally just go for a drive and go somewhere like fun and new and just chill in your car I love to go get like hot chocolate and go watch the sunset or get up early, get some hot chocolate or coffee and go watch the sunrise. Like something that kind of gets you out of that environment, but also is something that you look forward to and something that you want to do. Going off of what I just said is to like give yourself things to look forward to. So the holidays can be really stressful, but if you start to fill it with things that you are like looking forward to or something that you are there's a really big bird outside. Something that you're looking forward to or something that you enjoy can help kind of bring that anxiety down and also help with the depression as well. So for example, like my favorite thing to do around Christmas is to go look at Christmas lights and also bake. Like I love baking. So I kind of have already started making plans with my friends to go see the Christmas lights, to plan baking nights, which you guys will see on this channel. So stay tuned for that. Um, and I also like really want to go see the boats downtown. We have lots of boats that get lit up. Heather actually commented on my last video about it because I sort of really forgot about it. Um, but that's a really good time. And yeah, just like filling your days up with things that you like to do. It doesn't have to be big and like super time consuming. It could literally just be coming home, drinking some hot chocolate and watching Netflix. Like it could be having some playtime with your dog. It could be doing a new painting. It could be listening to a new podcast, watching a new YouTube video, um, listening to some new music. Literally just filling your days with things to look forward to I think is really helpful. Um, I know for me, like I struggle a lot when I'm at work sometimes. And so I kind of will be like, okay, if I can get to lunch, I'm going to do, like today I went to Wawa and I went and I got a drink and that was like, what I was looking forward to to help get me through my day and then I knew when I came home I was going to be able to film a new video and so it's just like adding things to your day that's going to make you look forward to something and like I said it doesn't have to be super big it can be something really small it could be even just like facetiming your friend like just adding those little things up is going to make a big difference in how you feel mentally because if you fill things with things that make you happy it's going to help a lot with like the dis the depression and the anxiety because you're filling your thoughts with happy things versus negative things. Strategy number seven is just to like have a good time. I know that can be really hard, especially when it's cold and you don't want to get up out of bed, but like it kind of also goes on what I just said. Just fill your days with some fun stuff like a weekend. It doesn't even have to be every day, but like a weekend, like go do something with your friends, go like do something with your family, go do something for yourself, with yourself. Like the other day I went and got my nails done and I loved it. I got some Starbucks in the morning and then I went and I got my nails done and that was like perfect. 
I sometimes will just go walk around like Target and TJ Maxx just for the hell of it because I enjoy that. Like that's something that's fun to me. So just adding those things that are fun, having fun, surrounding yourself with good people can also be really helpful. But if you're someone like me too, who needs kind of your alone time and your space and isolation, making sure that you make time for yourself. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Make sure that you make time for yourself because holidays can be chaotic and stressful and there's a lot to do and there's a lot going on so making sure that you manage and make time for yourself incorporate self-care nights incorporate those things that you love to do um give yourself time to just relax honestly because that's what the holidays are about is relaxing so make sure that you provide yourself with that time to be able to have that relaxation time that self-care time take a bath light some candles, do a face mask, paint, draw, journal, color, whatever you like to do, have your own little self-care night. I'm going to do a video on that probably sometime next week because I think it's really important to do and I want to give you guys some ideas that you can incorporate with your self-care night so stay on the lookout for that but yeah honestly guys like I, the holidays are stressful but I really hope that these tips can help you guys out with managing the the holiday scaries the holiday depression because it is something that so many of us deal with and especially winter time and it's a struggle but you can do it i believe in you if you need someone to talk to please reach out to me on instagram please leave a comment whatever i respond to everything um and yeah i love you guys so much you are loved you are never alone and i hope you guys are enjoying vlogmas so far and I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. I realized that I never said anything about that. But I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. And I hope you're getting excited for leading up to Christmas. Um, Let me know in the comment down below what's something that you're looking forward to this holiday or winter season. And what's your favorite holiday tradition is. Alright, that is all. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Love you.